We're in Eight, position. Here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fight, robots, fight. Ooh. Oh, attempted box rush by Phenomena there. But oh. Pine Victus able to get out of the way. Don't worry. Phenomena able to get that hit in anyway. Pine Victus now on its head. Are they going to be able to self right? Uh, they'd have to run into a wall. It seems like they're having some drive issues yeah. and the weapon's not working. Oof. Meanwhile, That's... it seems as though everything on Phenomena is functioning decently. There's a little twitch going on with the weapon. Not sure what that's about. Not an ideal uh, situation here. Yeah, there you go. You see the twitch happening on Phenomena's weapon. Pine Victus's weapon is not working. They're upside down. This is, uh, this is a quintessential loser's bracket match right now. Both botsmen through some hard wars. Not really moving very much. Having some weapon issues. Having some drive issues. Now we're into the pushing match. With one of the bots upside down. There you go. A little assistance there from Phenomena to get Pine Victus back right side up. But Pine Victus still having some control issues with their drive. It looks like just the left side of their drive is really functional. It even looks like that right side of the drive, the white right wheel there is a little off kilter. But hey, they can spin. That's what they're doing right now, showing the rest. They, they're, they're still active. They're still moving. They're still doing stuff. And I'll tell you what. Not a lot you can do in this situation. No, not so much. So Phenomena as a concept has competed before in this area. It's competed at Franklin Institute and Motorama. Uh, but this is a pretty pretty big redesign. Bring it to this event. 45 seconds left on the clock. Pretty cool hub motor weapon. Wish we could see it working at the moment, but. Yeah, right now, just getting a little twitch. Getting a little weird dance from these bots. This is how the uh, robot combat cookie crumbles when you get this late into the competition. Comes down to a war of attrition. Whose bots are still functional? Who's got the most spare parts? Who's got the most nimble fin fingers and can fix your bot in less than 20 minutes? <laughs> All right. Five, four, three, two, one. This one's going to go to the judges. All right. How are you guys doing? So let's do a show of hands for that one. Actually, no. We should talk through that yeah. one, shouldn't we? It was a little confusing. So we'll start with you, Jack. Jack, what were your thoughts on that match? That one is a rough one to judge. Yes, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> uh, so I personally would give the vote to Phenomena. Yep. Because that, that one big hit is really the only instance of a weapon being used aggressively. And even when both bots had one drive side missing, Phenomena was a lot better at translating across the arena and actually being aggressive. Right. Fair enough. Don, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I'm going Phenomena too. Um, it, it was able to get a hit in, and then even after it lost its weapon, it's still able to control the match until it lost its drive side. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Diana, what are your thoughts? Are you going to make this a unanimous decision, or what are you thinking? Yep, I'm going to make it unanimous. I'm going Phenomena too. Fair enough. Congratulations to Phenomena. They'll be moving on into the loser's bracket, and um, yeah, that was a rough match. Just hard to get ahead.